career in the creative industries is really exciting. Knowing the pathway through to that career can be more complicated. The Federation of Drama Schools, or the FDS, is an umbrella group that brings together the UK's most prestigious training environments. Get Into Theatre is a charity whose website collates lots of resources that can support you in finding your pathway through to your career. We hope that these resources will help you forge the future that you want to see. Stage and production management is broadly about creating the world of the play on stage. So the stage management team are uh, particularly charged with uh, finding the right props and the right furniture and the right choices to respond to the director and designer's view of the production. Um, so it's around picking the right details that are going on to a newspaper so that the audience understand the period of the context of the play. It's about making sure that the food props that are on stage are edible and safe and again, read that story to the audience and the creation of the play as a whole. So sound technology is kind of a, a broad term that describes working with sound for recording in live events, so concerts, theatre, working with sound in broadcasting, working in sound in film and television, and all of those things are, sound is really, really important. It's one of our key senses, along with watching a show or watching a film. And sound technology really describes how do we work with, with that sense and how do we use the technology and the, the wonderful new technologies we have available these days to, to entertain, to inform, to educate. What's not to like about sound? Production management is a bit more about the overall nuts and bolts of the production. So the production manager is supervising the production, they're overseeing the budget, they're looking after the logistics, they're making sure that the time is um, running to what it should be uh, because theatre time is particularly precious uh, particularly when you're working in external venues. Um, and so the production manager takes a much more overall view of the production liaising with all of the various different departments um, that are trying to pull this um, theatre production together. The lighting programmer is the person behind the desk that is running a show using state-of-the-art equipment, which is a lighting console, and the moving lights. So basically, it would be like driving a Ferrari, but I'm... Uh, in a music concert. So that's what, what the programmer does. They take control of the show and they are controlling the lights. They are taking care of what's happening on stage, whether that's for a TV or whether that, that's for a live event or whether that's for a show um, in a West End theater or in, in, a, in a smaller venue. The training element of it is really integral to longevity in the industry and making sure that you've got a place to start from and something that you can kind of hold on to and always go back to when you might come across new challenges or new opportunities. You need to be organised, you need to have a good or great attention to detail. You've got to be interested in the detail of the production. It's about understanding other people's point of view and being able to negotiate with um, collaborators and creatives along the way. Um, it's also about understanding that there's not just one way of doing things. All of these things are teamwork. There's very little solo effort in any of, any of, any of those industries or any of those areas. The, the skills that you need to learn, they are not only technical, they are not only conceptual, but also are skills of, uh, of um, communication, organization, you know, being flexible to understand, you know, what the needs of other disciplines. I don't think there's a single department you won't interact with. You uh, have to be a family, really, um, and understand what everybody is doing. You'll be meeting lighting designers, you'll be working with directors, you'll be working with stage managers, you know, you'll be working with sound designers. It's a very sort of good environment to make mistakes while you're still learning these things. You're not sort of you're not in the industry um, immediately, but you're in a situation that feels is preparing you. It feels like the industry, but you can make as many mistakes as you need to and learn from those. So, as far as the application process for a stage and production management degree is concerned, in all scenarios, you're most likely being invited to attend an interview. We have a discussion. We talk through scenarios. We pose questions and there are no right or wrong answers to those questions. We're interested in how you individually and collectively 
get to a conclusion. You know, when you come for your interview, you'll bring a portfolio. It doesn't have to be a traditional, you know, A0 size portfolio. It can literally be anything. We like to see sketchbooks. We like to see scribbles in notebooks. We like to see artifacts. So if you've made a piece of costume or you've made a prop or a mask at home, bring it along. We want to see it. What's important is that you are curious about the world around you about theatre, about live performance. Um, and as long as you can show us that and share that with us, that's all we're after. So don't be frightened by the portfolio. We ask applicants to uh, bring along an example of work they've been involved in the recording of. We don't make it any, any more specific than that. Just to bring along a portfolio of pictures, what they were using, what they were doing, how the event went. So it gives us an opportunity to then listen to what they've done, to look at what they've done, to ask them to describe it, to ask them to evaluate their work and other applicants' work as well. A portfolio is really about you recognising your worth, what you have done, and putting it together and communicating it to other people so that they look at it and go, oh, oh, you, you know yourself, you know your work, you know who you are. It's a really good calling card. You don't need to show that you know everything at all. You come here to learn. Um, so it's more important that you show us the willingness to explore, the willingness to, to try different things. If that's more important than showing what you actually know, which is it's great. It's good to show what, what you know, but um, you come here to learn. You can learn the skills. As long as you've got the passion for theatre, then you can take up any of those facets within the industry as a whole. If you've been a performer during your GCSE A-level BTEC studies and actually decide that might not be for you, you will have actually learned an awful lot of how the backstage of theatre works just by being around it. Equally, if you're not studying for um, a formalised qualification in drama or theatre studies, Going to the theatre and seeing a show, seeing your local panto, um, going to see some sort of amateur theatre will enable you to get a good understanding of how and what it looks like to make theatre. It translates, um, you know, anywhere in the world, music, dance, drama, it, it translates and it transforms and it, it, it makes people question things, it makes people think about things in a different way, it brings people together. Um, and for me, that really is the most amazing thing about being part of the arts. People see this sort of ministry as like a big risk in terms of employment. Like a lot of people, when they say, I'm going to do creative, I'm going to perform an arts school, they're like, you're not going to get a job. But with doing all the different areas, you realise that every TV show has a sound team, every concert has a sound team, mm -hmm. everything, every form of entertainment, there's a whole team of people from that like sector that have to work on it. And so. If you learn the right stuff and you're like the right person, there are jobs for people you just don't know about them. Like I tell my family things, like, oh, there's a job that does just that. And they're like, no way, like, that's crazy. And yeah, I, I like, you don't, until you come here, you don't realise how many opportunities there are.